Hello everyone, and welcome to my second Linux-based tutorial. And today I'm going to be dealing with how to get your system set up if you've accidentally deleted System Python. So, steps to solve this issue. Uh, the first is reading the error message, understanding uh, the reason why you could conclude that the System Python not being there is responsible for your issues. Next, I'm going over how to download and clean uh, the existing system Python files. Next, uh, manually unpackaging and overriding the root system Python files. And finally, cleaning up and fixing broken packages, which you might be experiencing after deleting the system Python. So, understanding the error, uh, I'm just going to talk about what my experience with it was. Uh, what happened is I fa faced a light DM and XF. CE display manager issue after I accidentally deleted my system Python. Uh, I was under the assumption that if I custom installed another version of Python 3 that the system would automatically start using it. However, it didn't. And one of the biggest symptoms of this issue is you have a Py3 compile error, which is a system package that isn't installed when you're using your apt-get, but um, the solution to this would be downloading and manually reinstalling the missing packages. So what information is needed to debug this issue? So the, f the first bit of information is if you are able to uh, log in manually without your display manager uh, on Kali, where I experienced it, it was uh, Alt F1, and then you log in normally and to access the command line. So the first thing you want to do is you want to try to reinstall Python 3. And by trying to reinstall Python 3, you're going to see what version of Python um, is the base one based on your distro. And that is the one that we're going to have to overwrite the system files with. Uh, the other issue you can see is uh, the Py3 compile not, not found. Um, it's possible that this error could come with other files, but this is the way I experience it. And the final thing to look for is we see that errors while processing Python 3 minimal, which is the smallest version of Python we're able to install, and that just means something's not working. All right, now let's get into the tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is you want to change directory to your temp. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to download the Python 3 of the version for the minimal packages of that given version. So for me, that's uh, going to be to have get install lib python 3.10 dash minimal python 3.10 dash oh, sorry, not app get install, app get download. And then it should download the system version of those packages. And the next command is we want to just apt get download Python 3 minimal. Python 3 dash minimal lib Python 3.10 dash std lib and that's Python 
dash rf user local bin python 3.10 slash star local lib python these are for the system version if you've already tried to install it and failed now the next one is update alternatives we want to remove python 3 from the user local bin python 3.10 or the version that your system is using. Next, we want to do hash dash r to remove the cached binary. And now what we do is since we're already in temp, we just want to go ls pipe to grep and then search for Python 3. And we should get our five packages that we're looking to install. So now we want to unpackage these into a package called missing so that we can then overwrite our root with these packages. So the best command for this I've found is ls pipe to grep missing. And then what we do is we pipe it to a uh, well read item do dpkg dash deb dash x quotation mark dollar item missing and then after that done. So this is going to unpackage it to a folder called missing. There we go. It takes a little bit of time. Now we are going to go into slash temp slash missing and just verify that everyone thing is there. So we're, let's just clear for a bit. And now we're going to do ls dash lr Oops, okay, so lr slash temp slash missing. And this is just gonna, we can just quickly go through all our files and see that everything needed for Python 3.10 is there, including Py3 compile. Now let's just clear again. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to sudo cp dash r pfv slash temp slash missing star slash so this is going to copy all of those newly installed python 3.10 files into our root directory so we enter this command and we can see they've been successfully copied clear and now what we're going to do is we are going to um, <laughs> seem to have a delay on trying to cop we're going to deep we're going to uh, reinstall all of our packages that failed to install with uh, dpkg and then after this works we're going to do uh, so app get and now we can try our app get install python 3 and it should work Dash reinstall Python 3. And before doing this, I was not able to fully install Python 3 due to the missing um, PyCompile, but now we are able to do that. So next you go about trying to fix all the packages that have broken, uh, including your uh, display manager. Now the next step, we're going to do sudo app get auto clean and lastly we're going to talk about what were you trying to do so if you're trying to do a proper alt install what you want to do is you first want to make your python file with the alt install keyword and then what you want to do is you want to use, issue the command update alternatives install slash user slash bin slash python if you want just to be the python command and then just uh, specify the location of your alt install, which for me was slash user slash local slash bin slash Python 3.9. All right, thank you very much and stay safe. Don't delete random system packages.